Okay, had to check and see if this was on because the other day when I did this, uh, my other video didn't even record. Recorded for five minutes, so hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing? <sighs> I am so sleepy. I had to make me some coffee. It is decaf, but I'm hoping that maybe my brain thinks that it's caffeinated and it doesn't keep me up tonight. That's a lot to hope on. All right, well, I hope y'all had a wonderful, awesome day today. I had a good day. I uh, didn't get a whole lot done, but I did have a good day. And, uh, well, that's not true. I made some beans today. I did some laundry. But tonight, I want to talk to you about Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through Him. John 14, 6. And I might have paraphrased it a little bit, but we're going to read it out of the Bible, so we'll get it right. Anyway, um, I think that uh, this day and age, they make it look like there's lots of ways to get to heaven, but there are not. There is one way, and that one way is through Jesus. And so we have to come through Jesus. We have to accept Jesus as our Savior in order to get to heaven. There is no other way. There is no other way. And we'll do the salvation thing later. But I'm going to open up with a quick prayer. And uh, then we're going to get into the lesson. And I have my music. Well, I have this phone turned on. I had to go feed Seth at the last minute. He was like thinking that he was hungry, even though really it's not time for him to be hungry. And he'll be hungry later when he usually eats. We're all off of our schedules. I wanted to eat everything in sight, so I'm punishing myself and I'm making myself go 20 hours without eating because I do intermittent fasting. Anyway, hey, it is all good. It is all awesome. So I want to show you my t-shirt in a minute. I don't have a The Way, The Truth, and The Life t-shirt. But I like the t-shirt that I have on tonight. I actually wore it last night, though, to youth. Don't judge me. I only wore it for half a day. So, put the two days together. It's a full day now. Uh, I'll change it tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I really got my music set up. Got some good music. Okay. So this is my t-shirt. Coffee gets me started. Coffee gets me started. Jesus keeps me going. Jesus keeps me going. Okay. It may be backwards too. I don't know. Well, this is showing. I don't know. I think it is backwards. All right. Well, whatever. <laughs> Hopefully you can read it. I can read backwards and upside down. It was kind of a gift that I use uh, teaching Seth. Um, I can like let him look at the book and I can read it upside down. Or I can read sideways too. I have a strange brain. Okay. I need a sip of coffee. Maybe, I, maybe I've had too much. I don't know. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to pray. God, we just come to you, and we just love you, God. We thank you for all the many, many things that you do in our lives. That you are our creator, our sustainer, our protector, our provider. You are our shelter in the storm, God. You are the way maker. You are the miracle worker. You are the promise keeper and the light in the darkness, God. You are all those things and more. You are the righteous judge. You will judge all unrighteousness, but God, you are also loving and compassionate and kind and uh, forgiving and patient, God. 
You want none to perish. You sent your son Jesus so that none would have to perish. He is the way, the truth, and the life, and the only way to you and to heaven. God, we just pray for the lost. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they can be saved. We pray for the prodigals, that they would come home, that they would repent, that they would return to the relationship that they once had with you through Jesus. God, we pray for all the disasters. We pray for all the crazy things that are going on right now. God, we pray for this um, border crisis. It is a crisis. It's not a challenge. It's a crisis. That they're just letting people into our states. And um, we don't have the money to support them. But God, we know that you have a purpose and a plan for everything. God, and if this is any way your will, then of course, of course, it's all good. God, we pray for people that have lost loved ones. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them. That they would feel your presence, God. And God, we pray for all the sick people. We just pray for uh, your healing hand to touch them. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alright, I'm going to turn my volume up. Because I listen to things during the day and sometimes they're really loud and I turn them up and turn them down. Um, I'm going to turn this volume up a little bit because I've been listening to things on there too. I am sorry, but my left eye is itching so badly today. Okay, well, let's get into God's Word, but let's start with this because this is where I started thinking about Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life is with my Jesus Always This Morning by Sarah Young. And I did not, I did not write this, and actually Seth has one of these. I actually like the way it was worded in his better, but I'm just going to read it out of this one. Let me get another drink of water. I mean, this isn't water, it's coffee. I don't know if you can see it. It's coffee, I don't want to spill it on my computer, but it is coffee. Oh, it's the only computer I have. I don't need it fried. Okay. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. I spoke this truth to Martha when her brother Lazarus had died, and she believed me. Shortly thereafter, I commanded Lazarus to come out of his tomb. And he did. Even though he eventually died again, as all people do, he knew he would rise again to life, as all believers will. Shortly before my crucifixion, I taught my disciples, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am everything you could possibly need for this life and the next. I am the treasure that encompasses all treasures. This truth can simplify your life immensely. I am the answer to all your struggles, the joy that pervades all time and circumstances. I can make hard times bearable and good times utterly delightful. So come to me just as you are, beloved. Share more and more of your life with me. Rejoice as you journey with me the way who guides you always, and the resurrection who gives you eternal life. And so I also want to read what I wrote on Facebook a while ago with this song. Um, it's called The Way, and it's called New Horizons, and it's by Pat Barrett and House Fires. So I love this song and message by Pat Barrett and House Fires. I love the lyrics of this song. It was brought to my mind yesterday while I was looking at music for youth last night, and again this morning while I was doing my quiet time. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the only way to heaven and path to God. 
There is absolutely no other path. He is the only way to the Father. We really like this song at youth. There is just something about it that is very special. I love that most Christian songs have lyrics from Scripture. This is one of those. God's Word will not return void. Jesus with us all the time, tending to us like the Good Shepherd that He is. If we will follow Jesus and let him direct our path, we will not stumble and he will protect us every step also. He cares for us deeply and wants the very best for us. Is Jesus your shepherd and your savior today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3:16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. And uh, and the rest of that is just what I put every day. And I'm sorry I wasn't here last night, but we started youth back. So I won't be here on Wednesday nights. I'll be at my church. Uh, for youth, I'm pouring in some truth and some love into our younger generations. I feel like God has called me to this generation not because I am so uh, biblically smart or anything, but because He knows that I have a love and a desire that they get saved like this is the generation that he's called me to the teenagers <laughs> the teenagers you know that they know the truth that they are taught the truth and we are so blessed we have so many great teachers in our church that are teaching our kids the truth we started our children's program too so I won't be here on Wednesday nights and probably not a lot of Sunday nights because I started back to church on Sunday night too. I've been a heathen long enough. I told TJ, I said, well, the cold, dark winter is over and spring has sprung. Because during the winter, it's dark and dreary on Sunday nights, but during the spring, it's lovely in summer. It's still daylight out. That's not a good excuse. Okay. So let's read um, John 14. So we're going to read all of John 14. And I think we read some of this not too long ago because we talked about truth. And... Uh, but Jesus is the only way. He is the only way to heaven. And He is the truth. He is the truth. And He is the life. He gives us eternal life. Alright, I found John. I'm having a hard time finding 14. Okay, here we are. So there's a lot of good scripture in John 14 and John 10 too. I like John 10. I was looking at it this afternoon because in Seth's Bible story was about um, Psalm 23, which reminded me of the Good Shepherd. So the Good Shepherd is John 10 and then John 14, my, my deal says the Holy Spirit promised. But it's more than that because he does say that he is the way, the truth, and the life. But he does talk about the Holy Spirit too. You know, I was trying to find that the other night when we were doing the Holy Spirit. But anyway, hey, it is all good. So let's read this together. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. 
And whither I go ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas, uh, that's, that was Jesus speaking. And then Thomas, one of the apostles, said, um, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? And Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. Because Jesus was God in the flesh. And so that's what he's talking about. You see me, I am my Father. And so Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father. And it sufficeth us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet thou, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am the Father, and the Father in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth that the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and I will manifest myself to him. So let's just, that was a lot. That was a lot to unload. So at the beginning, let not your hearts be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. So that's where Jesus is. Jesus is preparing a place for us. He is in heaven with God preparing a place for us. And um, we are not to worry. We are not to be afraid. Because we are never alone. We have Jesus with us. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. So Jesus is coming again. He is coming again. Now, He is not coming again to walk on this earth. So, if people are telling you that Jesus is in the Middle East, or Jesus is in New York, or Jesus is in Alabama, or Jesus is here in Texas walking around on the earth, it is a lie. That is not true. Because Jesus is not going to come and walk on this earth again. This time, we're just going to see him in the clouds, and he's going to usher us up, and we're out of here. Yes, forever. 
Okay. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. But then Thomas said, well, we don't know. And then he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So Jesus is the only way. You have to go through Jesus to get to God. You have to go through Jesus. Jesus has to be your Savior. There is no other way. Jesus is the truth. Everything in this Bible is truth. Much of it points to Jesus. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the life. Because of Jesus laying down his life, he offers us eternal life. So he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father except through Jesus. And so then Philip, you know, Jesus' apostles were always questioning him with things that he felt like they should already know. But um, he answers their questions too. So the next part he talks about that he is in the Father and the Father is him. In other words, they're one. You've got, you've got God the Father, you've got Jesus the Son, You've got the Holy Spirit. One God, three parts. Kind of like an egg. A shell, a yolk, and the white. Um, one egg, three parts. And so then he talks about that he is going to he is going to, let's see how he worded it. That he really didn't say send. He said that he will pray and the Father will give them a comforter, another comforter, the Spirit of Truth. You know, that's something that the Holy Spirit does that as Christians we need so badly, especially this day and time when there are so many lies and just a little bit of truth and so many lies out there. We need the discernment of the Holy Spirit to show us truth. And that's one thing that the Holy Spirit does. He shows us truth. And He is also our comforter. He gives us comfort. So, um, he also talks to us about keeping His commandments. You know, doing what He has told us to do. And doing what God has told us to do in the Ten Commandments. You know, the Ten Commandments just don't go away because Jesus died for us. We still don't want to break those commandments. But we do live under grace. We are saved by grace. It is not anything that we can do. It is a gift from God through Jesus. Only through Jesus. Okay, so here's what Judas says. Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot. I think there was another Judas. Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? And Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which he hear is not mine. But the Father's which sent me, these things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring all things to you to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. So again, the, the Comforter, the Holy Ghost, will teach them all things and us too, teaches us all things. Oh, I didn't realize that my phone was 
in the way on that. So sorry. Um, it says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Okay, that's the second time he said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. And over here, um, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said, I go unto my Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass, ye might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. So he was, uh, he was done with that. He's gonna, God's gonna send a comforter. He left them with peace. Let not your heart be troubled. Do not be afraid. You know. I'm going to be honest with the things going on at our border. I live in Texas, and I know there are other states affected, too. We are not the only state. But we had just opened our state back up. And now they're just letting people that have COVID and other diseases into our state and they are eventually well right now they have them in stadiums I guess it's a good thing we can't have things in stadiums right now right now they have them in a stadium in Dallas one in um, somewhere else and I don't know maybe Houston I don't know I uh, I heard this afternoon I already forgot but I want to be honest with you I'm a little bit troubled about this but you know what I trust Jesus with everything that I have and if I get COVID and die from COVID I don't want to that's not how I want it leave here but it's not my choice again our life is about this long and eternity just goes on and on and on. So I, my eternal life is secure through Jesus. Because I did go through Jesus. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the only way. The only way to receive salvation is through Jesus. So, um, he says, um, the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. The prince of this world is Satan. And he has, we have nothing in Satan. We have nothing. We want no part. Because we are part of this kingdom. This this is our family. This is our kingdom family. This. This is our family. This is our future. This is where we're going. We're going to be with Jesus. At the beginning, he says, I go to prepare a place for you. He has gone to prepare a place for us. And so what we have to do while we wait... And believe me, I don't like waiting. We have to share the God's truths with others. And we have to share the gospel of Jesus with others. I thought I heard thunder. We had some bad storms last night. 
No, well, not as not as bad as what it seemed like it was. I believe that Alabama and them are having worse storms, so I need to pray for them. Um, south east. Southeast is they're having a lot of bad storms possibly the storms that we had last night um, Last night at youth we had to end abruptly because of the weather We were under a tornado watch and then a tornado was sighted in Meridian and so then we got put under a tornado warning and that was kind of scary That was kind of my heart was troubled I was a little bit concerned but me and uh, the young lady that I brought home last night to her house um, we prayed on the way especially after that fun little warning went off on my phone that was fun but anyway all right well, let's talk about um, what God and I talked about. We didn't have a long meeting this morning. So these are some of the thoughts. Uh, walk in truth, rest in Jesus. Who is the way, the truth, and the life? Well, that's Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. So good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings new opportunities to share my truths and the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day, child. I didn't even go out today. Um, thank you, God, for another day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share your truths and the gospel of Jesus. Another new beautiful day. And he said, child, many, many things are taking place in the ongoing battle between good and evil. Many good things are taking place, but many bad things too, to offset the good. I am in control of all, though, and sovereign over all. Trust me fully for the outcome. Your government is not working for your people. They say they are, but their actions are opposite. And that's true. They say, well, this is, a, this is an act for we the people, but it is exactly against we the people. And so the actions don't line up with the words. That's a good way to determine truth and lies. Is If the actions don't back up the words, then it's not true. It's just words. Um, as you hear and see too. Child, many more events are coming. So brace for impact, child. You know, God, during these whole two years, has been telling me brace for impact. Uh, much coming will not be pleasant. Cling to the truth and walk in the truth. The truth will never let you down, child. Rest in Jesus, child. Rest in Him. Continue to be obedient to me in all I ask, child. And I said, okay, God, I will. Thank you for meeting me this morning. I love to spend this time with you in my favorite place to meet you. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient in all I ask. Do all that you do for my glory, child. All that you do unto me. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready. Be strong and courageous until the end, child. Keep walking with Jesus and all will go well. The reunion will be so awesome, child, having all my children home and safe again. And I said, Marin, off to God. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. And then Sparrows comes on. The song Sparrows comes on. That is God's perfect timing. Because that song is about not worrying, not letting your heart be troubled. And that God will take care of us. Okay. Well, let's do a salvation message. 
<clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay. All right. So let's do God's invitation to his heaven. Okay. And if you see, kind of in the shadows, there's a picture of Jesus at the gates. It's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting. Just opening up the gates. Just come on in. That's going to be awesome. Okay. I don't know whether that will happen, but I like this picture. God's invitation into his heaven. Have you ever been invited? You know, many people have never been invited uh, into salvation. They have never had anybody explain to them what salvation is or anything. So the time is now to respond to his invitation. Repent and turn to the one true God. So here are some scriptures that go along with this. As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Romans 3.10 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 But God commandeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5.8 for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. John 14.6 So that's part of what we read tonight. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans 10, 9-11 For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13 So this next part is kind of a glimpse of what the new heaven and earth will look like. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. Revelation 21, 2-3. So that is going to be quite an awesome sight to see. And that will be after the battle. Because Jesus will come back another time and he will annihilate evil. But he will speak it. Like God, God spoke things into existence. Jesus will speak things into destruction. God will have to uncreate what he's created. Many, much of the earth during the tribulation will be, um, it will be destroyed. There will be parts that aren't. Jerusalem apparently will not be since the new heaven is going to come down in Jerusalem. Um, but there will be many parts of the earth that are utterly destroyed by God's wrath. And I promise you, you do not, you do not want to be here. You want to choose Jesus now. Because time is getting close that Jesus is going to come back and get us. And it's going to be so fast, like me snapping my finger. It's going to be that fast. And I know I don't snap it right, but it's all I got. Um, it's going to be so quick. It's going to be in the twinkling of an eye. And see how fast our eyes blink and twinkle? I don't know what a twinkling is, but I do know that blinking, it is very, very quick. This is very, very quick. We're going to see it. We're going to be gone. No time to say... 
Jesus, forgive me. There's, there's just no time. So that's why you have to do it now. That's why we need to do it now. We need to secure this now. You need to have your salvation secured. You need to know where you're going uh, eternally because it lasts so much longer than our lives. Okay, so I am going to say the salvation prayer. And if you would like to accept Jesus as your Savior, then I'm going to leave some space to where you can repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you are God's one and only Son. New days on. I can't be still. Such a good song. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. You were buried for three days and rose from the dead. I believe you ascended to heaven and are preparing a place for me. That's where Jesus has gone. He's gone to heaven to prepare us a place. We read that tonight. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and my life. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Clean my heart and help me to glorify you. In your name I pray. Amen. I like this song too. Good God Almighty. Okay, if you prayed that prayer, then welcome to the Kingdom Family of God. Your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and the angels are rejoicing. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus. Jesus is the only way. His Son. So, if you would like to have a closer relationship and learn more about Jesus, then read God's Word every day. Just spend some time. You don't have to read a lot. Start in Matthew. Learn about Jesus. Like we read John. Well, Matthew starts with the genealogy of Jesus, which is kind of neat because it goes back into the Old Testament. Um, maybe some of the stories that you've heard in the past. And pray to God. Pray to Him every day. And then find you some good praise and worship music. I'm listening to Good God Almighty by David Crowder right now. So good. Such a good song. So I believe I've shared everything that God wanted me to share tonight. And I made it without falling asleep. I was so sleepy when I came in here. That's why I made me some coffee. <clears throat> but I think that I was drying my throat out too. Anyway, so I want to give you a blessing from God. Not a blessing from me. 
In Numbers 6, 24 through 26, it says, The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. I'm going to try to memorize that. Number 6, 24 through 26 is where you find that. And so God wants good things for us. God wants the best for us. But he also wants us to be obedient to him. He also wants us to walk in the ways of his son. Can we be perfect like his son? Absolutely not. We are going to fail every time. But when we, when we fail, we need to ask for forgiveness and we need to try again. And that doesn't mean stay in that sin, stay in that sin lifestyle. That means walk away from it. And sometimes that's hard and sometimes it's very painful. But it has to be done if, if we want to follow God's teachings, if we want to walk in the ways of Jesus. We must, just like he said in John 14, walk walk um walk in my commandments or something like that do my commandments you know he wanted them to do what he had taught them to do and uh, he spent all this time with the apostles and so what the apostles learned with jesus is what we do as christians that is what we model as christians what they learned they learned from God. They learned from perfection. <laughs> they learned from perfection. We do not learn from perfection. This is not perfection. This is a saved sinner that struggles with things all the time. But I have a Savior, and He is the way, the truth, and the life. And He will never leave me. And someday, he's going to come back and get us. And it is going to be a glorious day. It is, it is going to be a day like no other. It's going to be awesome. It is going to be an awesome day. And I want... What I want is, I'm, I don't want, like God, I don't want to see anyone perish. I want to see all come to this saving Savior that will forgive you and will pick you up out of your mud puddle and clean you off. And you will never have to go back to that again. I'm getting hot talking about this. This has got to be the Holy Spirit talking through me. Because <sighs> I'm starting to sweat. But um, God doesn't want anyone to perish. He loves us all the same. He loves the very people that don't love Him. He loves the very people that doesn't believe, that don't believe in Him. He loves them. He loves the very people that crucified him. He loves them and he wants better for them. And he will forgive them. He did forgive them, but I mean he will forgive. He will forgive people that have done some really bad things. He will still forgive them. Because he loves and he wants none to perish. He did not create hell for humanity. He created hell for Satan and his demons. And Satan is our enemy. And Satan is going to lie to us every day. He tells me, you're not good enough to do this. You don't know enough. You're not good enough. You're not equipped enough. And he's right. I'm not. <laughs> But through the help of the Holy Spirit, and through Jesus, and through God, I share what I feel like God wants me to share. I don't want to be famous. I want Jesus to be famous. 
I want heaven to be crowded. I don't want, when we fly out of here, I want everybody to fly out of here. So please, if you did not get saved tonight or tomorrow, whenever you watch this, I don't know when people watch these. Facebook says that they watch them, but I don't know. God tells me he's going to multiply my words. I do trust God. I trust God more than I do Facebook and YouTube. God tells me he's going to multiply my words. Then the message that he pours into my heart is going to get to who it needs to go to. But I'm going to pray and get off of here. And I'm going to pray for all the bad storms that are happening in the south. <clears throat> because we, we were... We were the bad storms last night, and it is an unsettling, I'm not going to say scary, it's unsettling, because you just don't know. You don't know what's coming, you know. I, one reason why I'm tired is I stayed up till 2 o'clock in the morning watching the radar. Oh, we have a storm shelter, but I don't like getting in it. But we just we just ended up getting rain we didn't get anything really bad so I'm very thankful for that but um I don't know really the details of Alabama but they were really getting hit hard this afternoon so I'm gonna lift those people up to us to God first because I have a tendency to forget so let's pray Let's pray. Let's join hands and pray. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes sitting here talking to myself. Okay. All right. Let's do some virtual hand holding and pray. I'll hold my hands. God, we're just so thankful that we have you that you love us enough that you sent your son to save us and God I just want to lift up all these people that are in these tornado warnings and these tornadoes God I just pray that you would be with them that they would feel your presence God that you would protect them that they would feel your protection that God the Holy Spirit would tell them where they need to go so they can be safe and God that you would just meet their needs in this in these disasters because it is so disastrous during and after God of course you know that so please be with them I know Alabama was one of the states I don't know what the other states are God but please just be with all these people God we just pray that um, we thank you for protection last night for us. And God, we know it's spring and we know the storms will come. It was kind of scary last night. I know they're scared today, God. Just please be with them and give them courage, God. Just protect them and provide for them, God. We just pray, God, that you would give us the boldness that we can go out and we can share your truth and we can share the gospel of Jesus, God, everywhere we go. And God, I just pray that whoever watches this, that you would bless them and their families abundantly, God, that you would provide for them, that you would protect them, God, and that you would be with them, that they would feel your presence, that they would seek your face every day through your word, through prayer, and through praise. God, it's such a blessing the time that I get to spend with you in quiet time. Sometimes it has to just be a deliberate thing that I just like have to drop everything and come and do. But God is so worth it. And those are the days that I'm struggling to get in here that are the biggest blessings. God, we just um, 
We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, God. I just don't seem to be surprised anymore at the things that are happening. Because for one thing, I've read it in your word, God, which is truth. I've read it in Matthew 24. I've read it in Revelation, God. And I'm just thinking that maybe maybe that is what we're living right now and that we just need to seek your face even more we need to seek your kingdom first god we need to be ready to step away from the things of the world the things that don't last god and to reach out for eternal treasures god where jesus is the most wonderful eternal treasure that we can have and that salvation and that eternal life god and just pray for our youth, God. I just pray that you would keep them close to you, God, that they would seek your face every day through your word, through prayer, and through praise, that you would help us as leaders to be the example that we need to be for them. We pray for their families, God. We just pray that you would draw them to you and that, God, they would feel your presence during these times. God, we just praise you and thank you because you are our everlasting Father and you want only good things for us. You just want us to keep your commandments, God, and to be obedient and to love, trust, and obey you. So help us to do that. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends, I was a little bit of a tearjerker. I really am concerned for these people in these other states, but I gave it to God and he will take care of it. And there will be people that will come alongside and help them. There will be people that will be the hands and feet of Jesus in the, in the face of this disaster, these disastrous storms. And I uh, also want to pray for Meridian. I don't know whether anybody got hurt in Meridian last night. But I know a tornado was spotted on the ground. So, um, hey my friend Josie, I'm fixing to get off. I'm having another sleepy day. I stayed up till 2. I'm actually drinking coffee. <laughs> How are you doing today? Well, um... God bless you all and your families. And um, have an awesome rest of the night. My brain is not functioning. Have an awesome rest of the night and an awesome tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday, TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. And not that I have any big plans this weekend. Although I am going to a fundraiser on the 27th. I'm going to a human trafficking fundraiser. And uh, I, hate that, I hate that that's a thing. But it is a thing. So I'm going to go and um, it's an organization out of Fort Worth. I'm going to see if somehow I can't volunteer for them somehow. Oh, I know. I know. The storms were scary though last night. But now Alabama and all those states that are southeast, they are having really, really bad storms. All right, well, I've got to get off of here because I'm really tired. 
Yeah, I probably will. <laughs> May go to bed in about 30 minutes. I'm really dragging, although this will probably kick in. It's decaf, but it'll probably kick in a little bit and I won't be able to go to sleep. All right, well, much, much love. I'm going to get good at this one of these days. Much love and cyber hugs to everyone and uh, good night. Josie, you can call me if you want to talk, but I got to get off of here. All right, good night, y'all.